Hi, now if you've been on my website and been looking at the tutorials on matrix transformations, I showed you how to compile matrices for particular transformations like reflections, rotations, enlargements and stretches. And what I've got here is a quick test of 12 questions that you might like to try just to reinforce this work. I'll give you these 12 questions where you write down the matrix that represents a given transformation. And I'll give you 30 seconds between the questions. And at the end, I'll give you the answers and show you the methods, okay, that give us these particular transformations. Now before we start, you might like to pause the video just to grab a pen and paper and uh, come back when ready and uh, we'll begin the test. Okay, well here's the first question. Rotation of 270 degrees, center, naught, naught. Next one is an enlargement, scale factor minus 2, center 0, 0. Question three now is a reflection in the x-axis. And question four is a rotation of 90 degrees center naught naught. And now question five is a stretch scale factor two parallel to the y-axis with the x-axis as invariant. And question six is a reflection in the line y equals x. Question seven, an enlargement scale factor 1.5, center zero, zero. Number eight 
is a rotation of minus 90 degrees, center 0, 0. Number nine, that's a reflection in the y-axis. Number 10 is a reflection in the line y equals minus x. Number 11 is a rotation of 180 degrees, center, naught, naught. And finally, number 12 is a stretch, scale factor 3, parallel to the x-axis, with the y-axis as invariant. Okay, well let's see how you got on. Well first of all, for all these questions, I'm going to be considering the movement of the unit base vectors 1, 0 and 0, 1. As I've discussed in the tutorials on this in the past. So, for the first transformation then, we've got a rotation of 270 degrees, center, naught, naught. So all I need to do is just think about where this vector moves to. Well, it's going to turn in an anti-clockwise sense 270 degrees about the origin to end up downwards, okay, like this. And that vector would be the vector 0, minus 1. So that goes there, 0, minus 1. Then we take this vector 0, 1. Again, imagine that turning 270 degrees around there to end up in that position. The vector 1, 0 in other words. So there you go, 1, 0. And that's your matrix. The next up is an enlargement, scale factor minus 2, center 0, 0. So what happens here is that each of these unit base vectors is projected back through the origin by two units. Okay, the minus 2 is telling us that they're projected back. So for this one then, we're just going to go back in that direction there. Two units, so this vector is now going to be minus 2, 0. And that goes in there, minus 2, 0. And then for this unit base vector, 0, 1, project it back through the origin, down to there, two units. So this vector here is going to be 0, minus 2. And put that in there, 0, minus 2. Okay? Now number three is a reflection in the x-axis. So this unit base vector 1, 0 just stays in exactly the same place. So remains then at 1, 0. So we can write that in as 1, 0. And then as for the vector 0, 1, well that flips over the x-axis straight down here and it is now the vector 0, minus 1. 
Okay, so there's your transformation matrix then for reflection in the x-axis. Next then is a rotation of 90 degrees center naught naught. So 1 0, rotate it anti-clockwise 90 degrees is now going to turn from there to this position up here to the vector 0 1. So 0 1 and now we take 0 1 and we rotate that 90 degrees so it's going to come all the way down through here into this position and this vector here would be minus 1 0 so minus 1 0 next we have for number 5 a stretch scale factor 2 parallel to the y-axis with the x-axis as invariant so if the x-axis is invariant, this vector here, 1, 0, is still going to remain at 1, 0. Any points on that axis stay the same. So put that there. Now we go to 0, 1, and if we stretch this parallel to the y-axis, this is now going to be increased by a factor of 2. So it's now going to be the vector 0, 2. So put that there. All right. Now for number 6 we've got a reflection in the line y equals x and the line y equals x is this diagonal line through there. Okay, We'll just do it on both of these diagrams. So for the first vector 1, 0, where's that going to go? Well it's going to be flipped over the line to this position up here. In other words to the vector 0, 1. Okay, So put 0, 1 there now we'll take the second unit base vector that's going to get flipped over the line and it's now going to be in this position at 1, 0. So we've got 1, 0 there. And there's your matrix. Now for number 7 what we've got is an enlargement scale factor 1.5 center naught naught. So for this vector it's going to be enlarged by a scale factor 1.5 so this is going to go to 1.50 so put that there 1.50 and now for the second unit base vector 0 1 that's going to go by a scale factor of 1.5 so it's now going to be at 0 1.5 so 0 1.5 for number 8, we now have a rotation of minus 90 degrees center naught naught. Minus 90 degrees is turning clockwise, so 1, 0 is going to turn in this direction then and end up in this position at 0, minus 1. So 0, minus 1. And as for 0, 1, we just rotate this now 90 degrees clockwise it's going to go into this position and that position is 1 0 so got 1 0 there okay next up is number 9 we have a reflection in the y-axis so for the first unit base vector 1 0 this is going to be flipped over the y-axis to go to this position and that is at minus 1, 0. So minus 1, 0 there. And then for the unit base vector 0, 1, well, that's just going to stay put because it's on the y axis. Okay, so we've just got 0, 1. It's invariant. And there's your matrix. In number 10, we've got a reflection in the line y equals minus x. So I want to draw that in first. So y equals minus x is a line something like that, diagonal going like that. So when we look at the unit base vector 1, 0, this is going to be flipped over this line into this position down here, the vector 0, minus 1. So put that there. And again, we look at 
zero one now and that's going to be flipped over the line to this position here. That vector then is minus one zero. So we've got minus one zero. For number 11, we've got a rotation of 180 degrees center naught naught, which is a rotation really anti-clockwise, not that it would matter whether you go clockwise or anti-clockwise because you're going to end up in exactly the same place. Because if we take one zero, rotate it 180 degrees, about zero zero, it's going to be facing that way. It's going to be the vector then minus one zero. So minus one zero. And if we take the base vector zero one, rotate that 180 degrees about the origin, it's going to be facing down here, and that vector is going to be zero minus one. So we've got zero minus one. Okay. And lastly, we've got for number 12 a stretch, scale factor three parallel to the x-axis with the y-axis as invariant. So for one zero, this gets pulled out, stretched out by a factor of three. So it's going to now go to three zero. So three zero. And then we look at zero one and what happens to this. Well, if we're stretching parallel to the x-axis with the y-axis invariant, then this stays exactly the same at 0, 1. And put that in there, 0, 1. Okay, well that's the test done. I hope you were able to get them all right, and if not, you've been able to see how we can compile them. And here we have a summary of the answers.